Vaughn. Bo Vaughn. Yes. And uh, you live here in Omaha? Yes. Okay. This has been kind of home for you for a long time? Um, yes. All right. Great. Great. How long have you been with the company, Bo? All together, like nine months. Nine months? Yeah. Okay. How did you start with the company? Uh, a temp service. Temp service? Yes. So does that mean you were a helper? Uh, yes. Okay. Tell me about being a helper. Um, I started out in the septic, Johnny on the spot. Okay. Um, I went that for th three months. Then I was a helper for two months. Then um, they gave me the opportunity uh, for the CDL program. I was one of the first ones in the pilot program. Okay. And um, that was six months ago. Um, and now, now I went to a driver. Now I'm to a swing position. Really? Yeah. All right. So I understand waste management likes to build people up in the company. I started out as a town, so yeah. I mean, now I'm to a swing position. So you can it just shows how much they uh, sow into you yeah. um, in the company, where they like to see people come up. Not only do they want to see them come up, they also see that you know everything below where you're at now. Okay. Okay. So they invest in you. Kind of. Yes. All right. That's a good thing, right? Yes. So is it kind of a fair statement, maybe, to say that really it kind of went from just being a job to now it's you're kind of it's looking a at career. this career? Yes. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. So you got into the program, you go down to Florida, and you were one of the first ones, yes. kind of in the, the pilot stages of it. So tell me about that experience. All the guys down there, they're excellent. I mean, the trainers, you know, Chip, Pedro, Jason, the DM, um, they all did the job. I mean, it was like... They were handpicked from waste management. I mean, because the positions they were in, I mean, they strive for excellence. I mean, so number uh, high priority, the, the focus that they had down there. Anything? Uh, Safety is number one. I mean, uh, you're driving an 18 ton truck and that's just empty. Uh, they stress safety. They couldn't stress safety enough because the thing of it is, is you're driving out there. You can't just be on the offense, you got to be on the defense with driving too. Yeah, so is there a specific principle about, you know, the, the term safety that really kind of stands out to you? The safety that everyone comes home at night safely. Okay. Not just ourselves, but our helpers. Um, we got the responsibility of, we're responsible for that helper and just so that everybody makes it home safely to their families. So you see this as a career? Yes. You like what you're doing? Yes. What do you see the future being for both? Um, I don't know. I, I'd like to move up. I'd actually, I don't know. Ever since I went down to Florida, I actually wish I could go back and be a trainer, you know, to train people, you know, to show them that not just in the company, you can do it in, within the company, but they'll, they'll, sh they'll give you everything that you need and just to move up. I mean, because I'm not saying I ain't happy, but I don't want to stay at the yeah, good for you, man. So you want to help people become better like you do? Yes. Oh, that's great. Third party tester. That's great. Hey, Bo, I wish you the best. All right, thank you. All right, good morning. So what's your name? Anthony Gardney. Anthony Gardney. How long have you been with the company? Uh, I've been with them for two two years now. Two years. Yeah. So when you started two years ago, what did you start as? I uh, help on the back of the truck. So were you a temp, later yeah. temp? Yeah, I started off as a temporary Okay. Helper. How long did you do that? Um, probably about... A year and probably eight months. Okay. So. And you ever driven a truck before? No, actually. No? no. no. You got your CDL now? Yep. How'd that happen? Tell me about it. Um, well, they seen that I, I wanted to move up in the company and they would rather have helpers learn to be drivers because they know what it takes and safety precautions and everything. So yeah. they gave me an opportunity to step up. So I took it. So, um, how important do you think it was for you, and maybe for others, to come from that background of being that helper? Did, uh, did that make a difference? Yes, it did. Okay. Because you know what it's like being on the back of that truck. You know the, the different experiences that's mm -hmm. going on. So you would take precautions for the next person that's on the back of your truck. Good deal. All right. So you want to become a driver, and they send you to this school. Tell me about this school. Oh, it's a good program. It's a good school. Like, they teach you everything, and everything that you need to know about it. Just truck to safety to everything that, that deals with the company all extra benefits and everything that they give you opportunities um so now you are you're the proverbial professional driver right yep how have your driving habits changed now from when you were just driving a car before 
or anything noticeable? Yeah, a whole lot. What do you do different? Uh, you check all the time, make sure you're looking left and right, check all your mirrors, you make sure nobody's too close or anything, because it's a, it's a very large truck, so it's kind of, you got to watch everything around it. Absolutely right. So, um, what does the future hold for Anthony? Uh, I hope a lot more, because I plan on being with this company for a while. Yeah? Okay. Well, good. Good. Anything specific that you'd like to do in the future? Uh, I just want to progress and move up in a company. Yeah. Make better advancements. I think you got a good start. <laughs> I hope so. All right, Anthony. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Congratulations to you.